Um, Coach, what can you say about Matt Bentley? Um, at any level, seven games in a row with a goal is pretty good. What can you say about him? Did not know he had seven in a row, in a row. but I just know he scores goals. My gosh, he has been unbelievable for this team. Uh, he is just, he works hard. His work rates, he, he just puts the opponents under pressure all the time. He makes hard runs in the box. He can score different ways. And we've only had Matt for a year. You know, he's a transfer, senior transfer, but he has just been a blessing to this team. Wonderful kid. And uh, boy, has he added a lot to us. How nice is it when he scores 14 seconds in and you've got the lead like That was fast. I don't know what the record is, but that was a fast goal for us. And uh, that was fantastic. That changes the game right away. You mentioned they made it close, right? I mean, you guys survived an onslaught at the end. Yep. What was that like, just you know, kind of sitting there hoping, hey, let's see if we can pull this one out. Yeah, you know, coming. when they were up 2-0, two, two and sometimes it just, it just happens, you know? So you, sometimes you bend a little bit, but you don't break. But yeah, we didn't want to give one up. We were certainly playing for a shutout, but with less than a minute left, it wasn't good to give one. But you know, on the other hand, these guys have won 15 in a row, and they keep finding a way to win, and that's fantastic. You mentioned the 15 in a row. Is there an extra bit of pressure, I guess, you know, knowing that, hey, one more and you complete the perfect regular season? We don't talk about any of that stuff, and it's weird because I told you, like, after this, we're going to do our team picture, mm -hmm. which we're probably three months late with, but we're doing a team <laughs> picture. So what we got to do is make the best team picture you can make. That's our focus, and then we're going to go to our practice today. Anything past that, we can't look that way. We have got to just take moment by moment, and then maybe when they're old and in rocking chairs, they can reflect. How do you take the best team picture possible? Well, I've got an example. <laughs> this is what we did last year, and Kevin White's going to do the photo, and he's unbelievable, but this is what we use kind of for our Christmas card. So we had two benches. We're going to bring them out, and we're going to use the other benches on the corner of McDonald. So probably three rows, color coordinated. So we're going to try to take a great picture. That's what we're going to do. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys have kind of won a myriad of ways this year with Valpo coming back and winning like that. And then 2-0 this week ended up being 2-1. Um, how do you think that's going to help you guys facing all these situations? This it, year? Yeah, it's a great question because it does. You know, number one, the, the team is showing that they can score goals. And that's fantastic. I mean, they believe they can score. And Valparaiso, boy, that just posed a great opportunity. We were down two. So you're like, what an opportunity. We come back and score three and win the game or more. I mean, there's room to have more. But, you know, when it went to the overtime, it's like, okay, the next one's going to do it. But you know, it's just fantastic. And we got to look at our, our coach and staff, Coach Mike Seabolt. Coach Phil Woods, Coach Lukowski, Will Lukowski, they're doing an unbelievable job of preparing this team. They are the brains. They put so much time and energy into the film, the preparation, the meetings, the on-field stuff, and, and just doing a great great job with that. And, and the kids, they're working hard for each other. And you know, they, they're never too high, they're never too low, but they believe they can be in every single game they play. And you know at this point, you're. 15-0-0, you're going to get everybody's best shot. Um, is that something you guys kind of talk about, not only with Drake and then the Valley Tournament, but also in CAs? Yeah, particularly uh, when we play everybody twice in our conference. So the second time around, they know us. They're, the scouting is even a little bit more precise. You know, they have access to all the film. So, you know, our set pieces, just everything we do, it's it's tougher, but it's, it's fantastic. It, it's kind of like European leagues and leagues really around the world. You play home, you play away. So we're doing that in our conference and that's made, made it very exciting. And, and I think that's just gonna give us, you know, you want the best, you wanna play the best. If we can line up and play the best team in the country every game, that's fantastic. I mean, that's what you, you kind of live for as an athlete and whatnot. So it's kind of cool when we're getting some of those shots and they are hitting us hard. Because right now we're a good game. We're a, we're a team teams wanna beat. And I'd rather be that team than the other one. Yeah. You mentioned um, this team knows how to score goals, but a lot of the goals haven't necessarily been like the pretty goals that you see on Sports Center Top Ten. They're finding a way to score. And Ian Jones said, "You guys are finding those scrappy goals." Does that come from practice, or is that just their aggressiveness on the field? Where does that come from? A little of both, but they're putting themselves in good positions, Amanda. You know, the team is putting themselves, and again, I'm going to go back to the coaches. They're doing a great job. So we'll work a lot around the box. Uh, side service, we prepared a lot with, uh, with the Loyola game. So we're putting in positions to score, and it might not be the cleanest. You know, it, it might be a scrap or it's off of somebody, but you score goals in the box. And that's what these guys are doing a great job. So we're, you know, we're, we're going to keep praying they're in those good positions. And then if it's not the first one, the second one, the third one, but stay on it and it'll come.
And also your guys' defense, especially in previous years, has kind of been, you guys would score one goal and then it would kind of be park the bus in front yeah. of, it, you'd have, you know, all defense back all the time. And it doesn't seem to be the case this year. You guys are continually No, we, we, want, we want to play that kind of defense. Uh, we're, not, we're not giving up goals. I mean, we do pride ourselves. Can we get out there and have a shutout? Can we do some of those things? That's important for the kids. They really, really take pride in their defending. But... You know, if it doesn't go and we're down by one or down by two, like happened at Valpo, we could come back and do it. And maybe some years past, the goals didn't come as easy for us. Not that they're easy now, but we got a lot of threats that can go ahead and score a goal in a variety of ways.